Welcome to the Meet Me at the Creek podcast with Pastor James Jeffrey. Meet Me at the Creek is a ministry of Mud Creek Baptist Church in Stevenson, Alabama, where Pastor James shares sermons and covers various topics and talking points. Feeling a bit left out? Don't. Pastor James encourages subscriber participation. Email your questions, ideas, or recommendations to James Jeffrey Jr. at iCloud.com. Thank you for meeting us at the Creek. Now, here's Pastor James. Turn your Bible, if you will, this morning to the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel of Luke, chapter number one. The Gospel of Luke, chapter number one. And we'll be reading in verse, out of, well, we'll start in verse excuse me, number 26, and we'll read down through verse number 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, Thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Uh, uh, <clears throat> therefore, all, therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Want to call? Uh, You do your attention back to just for a minute to the uh, what to where we're going to really take our title from, and that's verse thirty-one. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. Father, thank you for the day, the hour, the opportunity to pray. Speak to hearts and lives, I do pray right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. I want to preach just a minute uh, on the title of this message, amen, that the Lord has given us. Amen, and that is, what a lovely name. Amen. What a lovely name, the name of Jesus. I know that's a song, uh, but my friend this morning, that's what's on my mind, amen. That name that's above every name, Uh, that name, uh, amen, of the one who gave his life for you and me. Uh, That name, uh, amen, is the name of the Son of the Highest, the Son of God, amen, uh, this morning, I'm glad that his name, that name, declares his identity. He was, according to verse 32, great. Amen. He's the champion of our humanity. There'll never be another like him. There'll never be another like Jesus. Amen. He was the son of the highest, the son of God. Isaiah said in chapter 7 and verse 14, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin 
shall conceive and hear us and, and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Uh, amen. He's also, his name declares his identity as the champion of humanity and the son of God, but it also declares him the king of Israel when it says he'll sit on the throne of his father David. Amen. Isaiah 9 and 6, for unto, the, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Once Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Uh, the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, to establish it with judgment, with justice from his forth forever, even forever. Uh, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. His name declares the fulfillment of prophecy when it says he'll reign over the house of Jacob, Isaiah 9 and 8, the Lord sent a word unto Jacob, and it hath lighted upon Israel. In Genesis 49 and 10, the scepter shall not the, depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet unto Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Uh, and the name Shiloh means that he whose it is. Amen. His name declares his identity. Uh, but secondly, this morning, his name declares his ministry. Uh, it tells why he came. Jesus, uh, Yahushua, amen. Uh, Jehovah is salvation. Jehovah saves. He didn't come to teach. He came to save. He didn't come to heal, uh, but he came to save. He didn't come to raise the dead, uh, but he came to save. Uh, he didn't just come to do miracles he came to save john 10 and 11 jesus said i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep amen his name jesus declares his ministry amen Thirdly, this morning, uh, his name declares, uh, uh, man, his uh, poverty. He was born to meager means, amen. He was born to a virgin, uh, a little virgin maiden, amen, and a carpenter, uh, amen. He was born, uh, amen, not in a palace, but in a manger, amen. Uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 8, chapter 8, verse 9, Paul said, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Amen. Uh, he was born a uh, man in a, in, in a manger, but he was born into dependency. He always uh, lived, amen, off the charity of others, if you will. Not that he had to have it. Amen. He could have had anything he wanted, uh, but he had uh, not a place to lay his head. Amen. Uh, uh, he lived, amen, uh, uh, off of what the, uh, is showing us that God will take care of his uh, <laughs> man of uh, the Magi's gifts uh, paid the way uh, for Mary and Joseph to escape with Jesus uh, into Egypt and escape a man uh, uh, the murder attempt a man the assassination attempt of of a Herod on the on Jesus a man had uh, I tell you, Jesus borrowed everything he ever used. Uh, amen. You can see that in the scriptures in Luke 5 and 3. He borrowed a boat to preach in. Uh, in Matthew 6 and 14, he borrowed a house to sleep in. Uh, amen. In, in Mark 11 and in, in verses 1 through 11, he borrowed a donkey to ride on. Amen. In, in, in Mark 14, he in 14, 13 through 17, he borrowed a room to celebrate the Passover in. Matthew 27 and 20, in verse 26, he borrowed a cross to die on. Amen. In Matthew 27, verse 57 and 60 through 60, he borrowed a grave uh, to be buried in. Uh, boy, I'm glad as the song said, amen. Uh, he borrowed all those things. Uh, the only thing Jesus ever bought was me, amen. Uh, the only thing he ever bought, child of God, was you. Uh, amen. He borrowed everything else that he ever had, uh, uh, but he bought and paid for us with his precious blood. Uh, whoo, hallelujah, glory. I'm glad, thank God, amen, uh, that his name declares his poverty, uh, but also the this morning, uh, I'm glad that his name declares his glory. Amen. Lastly, the word reign, it makes reference to uh, ruling, amen, to rule in majesty and glory. Uh, no one really knew the real Jesus. Uh, amen. If you look at Isaiah 53, uh, amen, the first three verses, 
Jesus, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, nobody really knew the real Jesus. Most people, a man just saw a carpenter. A man, uh, most people uh, just saw, uh, like the Jews, a revo- they saw a revolutionary. A man, most people, uh, a man in Lazarus' tomb, they saw a healer. Uh, a man in John 6, they saw uh, at the feeding of the 5,000, they saw somebody who could rule over the earthly things. Uh, a man, uh, Pontius Pilate in John 19 saw an innocent man. Uh, a man, uh, Luke 23, there was a centurion that said he was righteous. A man, uh, uh, but most people saw him uh, as everything but who he was. Uh, a man, but a few people saw him as the Son of God. Uh, Martha recognized him in John 11, verse 27. Peter recognized him in Matthew 16 and 16. Uh, Peter, James, and John, uh, and on Mount of, at the Mount of Transfiguration, they recognized who he was. And I'm glad uh, uh, some of these days, my friend, when he returns in glory, and his enemies will know him. When he reigns in glory, everyone will know him. Uh, because on that day, every knee will bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, I don't know where you are this morning, and I don't even know where you're at in your relationship with the Lord and you walk with God. But I can tell you this. Jesus will be the best friend that you ever had. And he'll be that friend that'll stick closer than a brother. He'll be with you, amen, when times are good. And he'll stay with you when times are bad. He'll be with you when you when you got a crowd of folk on your side. And he'll walk with you, amen, through the lonesome valleys of life. He'll be with you on the mountaintop. And he'll be with you, amen, when, when hell seems to come calling. Oh, my friend, I'm glad Jesus will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And he'll go all the way with you, amen, amen even to the end. Uh, He truly is uh, a a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, an everlasting father and a prince of peace. What a lovely name. Uh, Oh, the precious, lovely name of Jesus. Uh, I'm glad, amen, the heavens declare the glory of God uh, and the firmament show of his handiwork, uh, but his name declares who he is. Uh, And I testify this morning that Jesus is still the only way, amen, to be saved. Jesus Jesus first. Jesus always. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a lovely name. The name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you. Uh, find somewhere to go to church. Amen. Uh, uh, worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Lift him up and glorify him. Amen. With all that you have. Thanks for stopping by the creek. Don't forget to tune in to our other show, When He Speaks, hosted by Austin Holcomb. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May He make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace.